doesn't affect Zatu. So, um, hmm. <laughs> yeah, use Blizzard, I guess. And then Hyper Potion on Gregory! Psychic! Stop doing so much damage! God dang it. Okay, you know what? You heal. You do the heal. And then Cacao. These guys are actually pretty difficult. Bah! Critical! God dang it! Earthquake. Haha, -ha, you're useless! So, let me see. What am I going to do here? I'm going to do a sand attack upon Zatu, and then I'm going to do a magical leaf. Or a stomp. On the clay doll, I guess. I hate you so much. Oh no! So let me see. Rock Tomb the Zatu, stomp that thing. <laughs> Come on! I hate you all! Why are they so difficult? Oh my god! They're all level 41! No, my god! Well, crap. Um, I'm gonna go train for a while. See you in a minute. You know what? While I'm training, I might as well just show off this place. First off, there's Kim and Iris here. They've got some Pokemon that you really don't care about at all. They're just gonna go ahead and die really easily. Why did I use... What? what? Why did I use Razor Leaf? That's a stupid attack, or stupid move to use in the circumstances. So this is Shoal Cave. Please tell me. Yes! Low Tide! Okay. <laughs> so if your uh, internal battery functioned properly then you'd be able to experience both low and high tide in this game. But this doesn't... Er, the internal battery here doesn't work because it's a visual boy. So I cannot experience both of them. Luckily, I got low tide, which means I'll be able to show off the hidden area that is beneath it. <laughs> beneath it all. So first off, there's some Pokemans here. There's Zubat. There's also... Well, there, there are two new Pokemon here. And both of them... Oh, well, here's one of them. This is Sveal! Sveal is a little wizard. He is an orb, but he is also a seal. Just, just try to wrap your... Try to wrap your mind around that. A seal, but in orb. <laughs> so, they... They're, they're pretty good, I guess. They evolve really late in the game. As you can see, he's level 26 and he hasn't evolved already. He evolves at level 30-something and 40-something, if I remember correctly. I think it might have been 36 and 46. Don't quote me on that. But... Yeah, really late. Uh, these little piles, they're shoal salt. They refill every day. You can only get them when there's low tide. And acquiring six of the shoal salts will allow you to get a special item. The, the blue thing down there is a shoal shell. It's the same thing. They refill every day. If you get six of them, then... If you get six of them, then you can get a unique item called the shell bell. Oh my god. What's up with all the spheels? The shell bell. It's... What the heck is up with this long bridge? Look at how long that bridge is. That is a long bridge, son. Long bridge is long. Ball! Ball! Okay. Can you stop appearing? Stop. Okay, here we go. So this guy, I don't think he's a trainer. The penetrating cold around these parts is an impediment to training, but with focus, one can overcome. With this focus band... Oh my god, that is an evil feature of this game. The bag with finite space. I'm just gonna toss this. The bags have finite space in this game. Ba 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 ba, focus band. 
So focus band occasionally prevents fa fainting. I don't really remember how it works. I know that the focus sash prevents fainting if your guy is at full health. But I don't remember how the focus band works. <laughs> Whatever. So, we already saw Sveal. <laughs> come on, come on. Get new. No, come on, I don't care for you, Sveal. <laughs> Blue! That is all I can say. This is this area's game with ice physics. It has a new Pokemon, believe it or not. The new Pokemon that we shall see is unique. Because it, it just is. How, how do I does? Okay, how do I does? Okay, let me, let me think here for a moment. No, no. Nope. So, let me see. Oh my god, I'm stupid. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so stupid. I'm so stu stupid. Okay. So, let me see. What, what do I have to do here? I have to go all the way up here. Well, I don't really... God! Dang it. So, right here is an item <laughs> never melt ice god dang it okay never melt ice it's a hold item it's like mystic water blah 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 slightly raises power of attacks um let's toss these never melt ice victory can i find the new pokemon of course i can't because that would imply me doing something. I don't really know. So, let me see. Um, no, 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 okay. Oh! I'm stupid! God dang it! <laughs> okay. Right here. TM07 hail! Hail does damage to any Pokemon that is an Ice type each turn. I think it also might benefit Ice type slightly. I'm just gonna run down here until I find it. Okay. <laughs> Wee! Can I stop running in his fields? I want to find the new Pokemon. <laughs> new. New. No! God dang it! Here he is! Okay. This is Snow Runt. Snow Runt is mediocre in every way possible. His or her stats are just... They're just mediocre in every way. Okay, there's nothing good about Snow Runt, but there's nothing really bad either. He's just an ice type. I, I recommend Sveal much more than I do Snow Runt. I actually do like Sveal a lot. I did use a Sveal once during the... Uh, excuse me. During the, like, one time I played this game and I didn't pick Mudkip. Or, no, there were, there were two times. Nope. Going out this way. What? Uh, escape rope! Right, escape rope time. Escape rope. Spin! Yep, and that is all for the Shoal Cave. Oh, right, there, there's a guy. Where is he? That guy. If you bring him six Shoal Salts and six Shoal Shells, then he will make you a Shoal Bell Aurora Beam! And the Shoal Bell, every time you smack somebody in the face and do some damage to him, then you gain... Uh, an amount of HP back. So I'm just gonna sit here and I'm gonna grind up for some pick a points. I'm gonna get all my guys to about level 45. Normally I don't do grinding like this 
because it takes four freaking ever. But I can speed up! And that makes the grinding a lot easier. So I'll see y'all in a minute. Yay! Sveeld, the clap Pokemon, is completely covered with plushy fur. As a result, it never feels the cold even when it's rolling about on ice flows or diving in the sea. I caught Sveeld for the lols because they are freaking adorable! And I'm going to name this one... Slappy... Wag. Yes! Slappy Wag! And that's it. So far I have trained so much. Kakao and Steve are both one level higher than they were. This is going to take forever. No! <laughs> this will let no! What? Why? Why on the emulator? Zubat, I don't even need to weaken it. Come on! Oh my... Oh my god. I can get... I... Oh. I can assure you, I'm not using cheats or anything. I just... Fuck! God dang it! Oh my god. Okay. It's it's green. What what should I name it? I'm gonna name it. Um. Yeah, it's no. It's usually Zubat. So, Poobat. God! Fucking God! <laughs> Don't even like. Z Actually, I do like Zubat. I like Zubat's line a lot. That's the thing. I do like Zubat, and I like Golbat, and I like all the evolutions. But they're just so common. Fuck! I can go back to training. Who's my flying type again? Scrappy. Er, yeah, no. Fuck! Okay, let's see this thing. Yeah, there's, there's Xerox. At least I like Skarmory. Come on, seriously? Oh my god. In all my life, before I started this game, this LP, I had seen three shiny Pokemon. Since I've started it, I've, I've seen two. I've seen friggin' Poobat, and I've seen Xerox, and I just realized they're about the same color, aren't they? Just watch, I'll find a, sh I'll find a third shiny at some point during this LP, and it'll be green as well. Freaking Skarmory. And Zubat. Uh, hold on. Yeah, and Brave's actually a pretty bad nature for a Zubat, anyway. Seeing as Zubats are... They're fast, but they're pretty fragile. Uh, Brave... According to this chart here, increases attack and decreases speed. A much better nature would have been... Adamant or Jolly, or something like that. Just anything because Zubat doesn't really need his special attack okay Zubat doesn't really need his special attack if I remember correctly he's a more of a physical attacker um so adamant or jolly because they both decrease special attack jolly increases speed and Zubat should be all about the speed and then adamant or I keep saying adamant. Adamant increases. God dang it! Freaking Zubat! I don't want a shiny Zubat. Why couldn't I find a shiny? I would have. I would have used a shiny freaking Sveal. Okay. I would have used a shiny Fan P. I would have used a shiny anything other than freaking Zubat. Zubat. Zubat.
my god. None of the wild Pokemon in the area give enough experience, okay? So I got Bear Drew up to level 41, Steve to 38, that guy, I, I didn't, I'm not actually done with the training, but I figured, why not do this? So you walk into there and, oh my god, this ship is much larger than it looked out there. This is the abandoned ship, I can't, abandoned ship. I can't actually do everything here yet because I don't have the HM for dive, which you need, but I'm going to do as much as I can because I feel like it. Okay, god dang it, I wanted that to be a double battle. So right here we have Beauty Thalia, whatever kind of name Thalia is. I don't even know what kind of name Thalia is. Does anyone else not know what the name Thalia is? And she's just, she's just stupid. Why, wow, I've been found, huh? So, youngster Demetrius. Demetrius? What is up with the people in this boat and their names? Does anyone, come on! God dang it, youngster Demetrius. You and your stupid freaking hat. Okay, so you can run indoors here. Ships are just sort of rare. What? Oh. There appear to be other cabins. Okay, what do we got in here? We got a free item. It is a harbor mail. Oh boy. If you delayed purchasing a harbor mail to get to the coin case at this point in the game and you really wanted that now, then you could do that. When we go out to sea, we sailors always bring our Pokemon. How about a quick battle? So Sailor Duncan sends out a Sveal. I'm going to break its brick. Its brick has been broken. He's going to send out a Machoke. I'm just going to break this thing's brick as well. Everything's brick is being broken. Um, That's the door that I want to get get to. So this guy, he's throwing up in a thing. Erp, I'm getting queasy just being aboard this ship. It's not even moving, but... Erp. So in here we've got a dive ball. Dive balls... Yeah, I don't care. Yeah, there are. So dive balls are interesting. They only work on Pokemon. Seriously? You don't have a purpose. You just say, Yeah, it's a ship! That's stupid. Uh, an escape rope. So dive balls, they're, they're interesting. In this game, they have a higher catch rate on Pokemon that you find underwater. Because you can dive underwater in this game. In later games, it works on Pokemon that are just water type in general. But more recently, in uh, black and white, dive balls work on Pokemon underwater again. And that's that, that's an interesting point to bring up because you can't find Pokemon underwater in black and white. Dive is in the game, but you can't find underwater Pokemon. Revive, that's cool. So that, combined with the fact that there are quite a few other items from Ruby and Sapphire in uh, black and white, such as the Shoal Salt and the Shoal Shells, which have no use outside of this game. You know, the, the uh, items that we got, or the items that we, we, can, we can't get them right now. God dang it, I didn't mean to do that. So that, combined with the fact that the, the uh, Dive Ball has its old effect, makes a lot of people think that a Ruby and Sapphire remake is on its way, and I hope that's the case, because look at how pixelated this game is, okay? There, there, there are too many pixels. Too many pixels. That and this is... This is honestly my favorite game out of all the, uh... out of all the Pokemon games. This one right here. Because it's got Mudkips, and it's got freaking Heracross! Oh, you made me so angry! I'm gonna register you for that! Okay. You just keep doing whatever, crazy lady. So, here we have Storage Key. This guy... I'm investigating this ship on behalf of Capstern! He also asked me to find a scanner, but I haven't had any success. So, we could go find that scanner for him if we had dive, but we don't have dive. 
I'm so sorry. But we did get a storage key, and that means that we can open the storage door. Which contains none other than the magical TM for Ice Beam, son. Ice Beam, like Flamethrower, Thunderbolt, Psychic, and all those other moves that everybody loves, it's it, it, it's this game's move, or it's, yeah, it, it's the move that has the best balance between power and accuracy for the ice type. Gregory is the only one that can learn it. I, I taught him Blizzard as a temporary replacement. You see that? Uh, 120, you're, you're only hitting 70% of the time with that. But with Ice Beam, you got 95, and you hit 100% accuracy, 100% of the time. So, you're sacrificing 25 base power in exchange for 100 accuracy. You also gain 5 power points, but you can't hit both enemies at the same time. So I'm a delete blizz blizz. I should have deleted Mudslap actually. Blizzard still might have some use. Heck no. I don't know why I'm speeding up. I can run in here. Keep for God dang it! Freaking abandoned ship. Also, the music here is really cool too. Just throwing that out there. Okay, now I have to go back. I have to go back and I have to train some more. <laughs> Oh my god, all the trainers. They see me trainers. Ah, uh, let me see. Um, I could go to Pacific Log. I can go to Pacific Log. That's entirely possible. I do not know where I should go to do some training. Oh yeah, horses.